Well, here it is. I am very, very pleased by my buy. Um, a little bit of rust. 1958 MGA. Obviously, it's a convertible. Um, I haven't pulled the trunk out a whole heck of a lot, so I don't know if there's any rust there. Put that there so the trunk wouldn't close. But uh, five wire wheels. Uh, tires are shot, of course. They're God, they're ancient. There's some, uh, yeah. But I've got some rust. That's not off too bad, and I can easily fix that. That's a carpet. And I uh, guess I'll find out. There's some gas in the tank, and it smells like varnish. <laughs> um, but really not too bad. Let's see if I can zoom out on this thing. That's as unzoomed as it gets. All right. Um, again, not a whole lot of rust. I've been able to get all the stuff I brought with it out of the car. Uh, I'm estimating three years to uh, restore this on my own. Um, and not at a restoration place, but I could probably tear down this car in three weekends, two weekends, and really get a good idea of what I'm up against. Um, I have a lot to learn. My last MG was when I was in high school, and that was just a couple of years ago. <clears throat> and uh, this is a much different beast. I can do interior work without an issue, I can do body work, some mechanicals that I'll probably need some help on, but I've got. Uh, Jaeger gauges. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these or put something that's more modern into them. Um, original radio, British Motor Corporation, that's just awesome. And I believe these door coverings are aftermarket. Um, I don't like them, and I'm going to probably replace them with the tan color that I've got in my BMW and the one I put in my Triumph a while back. But uh, who knows, I've got a lot of time to think about it. I don't even know what color I'm going to paint this thing, but I intend on taking it down to complete bare metal. And uh, starting from fresh, and there's so many cracks on this thing, I'd be a fool just to fill them in and, uh, and paint over it. Um, I believe this is a 1500cc engine. I don't know much about this thing yet. I'm looking at replacing that with something larger. Uh, I'm definitely my dad's son when I say more power. Um, some some rust here, but again, that's surface stuff. I think after the body tub is off, I could replace that one cross member, but we'll see. Um, the chrome on the lights isn't too bad. It's uh, certainly in usable condition, driver condition. There's a few minor bumps. You can see the reflection difference there um, in the, uh, the grill, but again, if I wanted to save money, I, I would... Uh, reuse this grill. I'll probably buy a new one and just mount this on my uh, my garage wall as a trophy. Um, I had another one that uh, that came with the car. The owner, the prior owner, the guy that I bought this from asked to keep it as a memento and I said yeah. Really nice guy too. Um, definitely have to replace the bumper or get that chrome. I've seen these things very cheap on eBay and these are the ones that everyone tells me they're made in China but you know who knows. I don't. It looks okay to me. Who knows. Um, and the best part about all of this, I don't see a whole hell of a lot of rust on the uh, on the chassis, on the frame. I haven't been under the car yet in great detail, but I'm very heartened by what I see. Um, these sills here, a little bit of surface rust again, but nothing that looks like it's structural. And that's good news for me. Very good news for me. Um, Lots of websites, lots of people on the different forums I'm a part of to uh, garner advice from, so I'm by no means in a, uh, <laughs> a black hole of I don't know about. So and I've done a couple of restorations before. Uh, that one stalled. I have named this Team Evil. Um, it's an inside joke and the guy knows why. Um, and my intention as I begin to pull this car apart as I begin to start the restoration and uh, and so forth I'll make more videos um, I like the fact that a lot of this is aluminum uh, this is doors are hood is bonnet or whatever you guys call it and uh, so I'm able to get away from major rust issues like I've had on cars previous my Mercedes was one of them this not a whole lot of rust surface rust 
and as you can see with the uh, with the deal came a ton of spare parts I've got rockers I've got exhausts I've got uh, God I've got engine bits I've got stuff here I haven't even gone through yet I have a transmission uh, a head the back of the uh, battery tray cover deal thing um, a whole spare top radiator side curtains um, radiator another radiator I think in here and all kinds of other stuff I've got to go through all of this and catalog it spare steering wheel that's nice <coughs> I have to go through all of this and catalog it make a list of what I've got um, I'm liable to get rid of all the engine bits because I don't intend on keeping that spare um, I mean that thing is gonna be a spare to the one I'm gonna put in I think at some point I'm talking about a uh, an MGB engine um, with more horsepower and that's me and uh, like I say I will that's easy to take off I will continue with um, updates very happy about this very very pleased price I paid for this was extraordinarily fair for me <laughs> very 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 fair I'm, I'm very very happy